super excited. It says, I've been selected for the Gentry Finding Christmas Street team. So excited. Yeah. Tell them. All right. So I'm still in my workout clothes, but when you see me in two seconds, at the snap of a finger, I'll be ready to go. Boom. Oh, uh, how do I look? All right, I'm late. We got to go. Let's get to the white rhino. It's locked. And yeah, so again, like Gentry is is a pretty cool band. Their whole vision is like they want to inspire. So they, they all have some amazing style. Although I wish Casey would tie his bow tie. You can't you can't be not tying your bow tie when you're dressed up in a suit, singing, presenting. I'll let it slide this time. If I get a chance to interview him, I may have to slip that in there. Style tip, Casey, gotta tie the bow tie. I love that you're wearing a bow tie, by the way. Gotta tie it, though, my friend. Anyways, yeah, their, their songs are inspirational. And their videos have been great so far. I'm really excited to be able to help them promote this event. You wanna, you wanna know some singers who have style. They're kind of like Sinatra times three. Anyway, so I'm part of their street team getting ready for their Christmas concert coming up. I'm headed down there to get some of their posters, meet up with our team, and then I'm gonna stop into the My Nice High warehouse. And along the way, I'm gonna be filming parts of our Kickstarter video. We got a, a Kickstarter campaign coming up. It's to wise up, suit up, and speak up. It's to help with our suit up portion of our goal. Uh, we're gonna be coming out with new neckties, new cufflinks, lapel pins, and socks. So the first principle is to wise up. We wanna know the values that made America one of the greatest nations in the history of the world. But then that leads us to suit up. We're gonna be creating formal wear, neckties, lapel pins, cufflinks, socks, that are inspired by these principles. So for instance, freedom of speech related socks, neckties, and then speak up, that's getting involved, doing something to support the freedoms that we enjoy. So that's our day to day. Should be interesting. Hopefully you'll learn something. Okay, so I, I made it a little bit late. Thanks guys for uh, accommodating me, but we, we came up with our strategy here to get posters out for Gentry. And so we're gonna get those out in the next couple of weeks and I'm here with Jason and <laughs> Tiffany. And so we're super excited about Gentry. And, uh, and so if you know anybody in the Denver area that would be interested in coming to Gentry's concert, check them out. So I'm out of here now. We'll move on to the next portion of our, of our day. All right, uh, I think that went pretty well. From today, we have about a month until this concert. So our goal is to sell, the, sell out the concert. By the way, I have to say how much I love the fact that we can just like tell Google where we wanna go and automatically arrive there. For one, it makes me so much more efficient. For two, much safer. And for three, it's just easier, man. I don't know what we're gonna do in the future though. People are not gonna know how to travel anywhere. They're not gonna know how to use maps. They're not gonna know where they are ever. There's gotta be some unsettling deep down inside of us that is just not happy with that. That we, today we don't even need to know where we are or where we're going. Uh, interestingly enough, I was listening to a talk by Jordan Peterson. He has this thing called self-authoring. You basically write about what's important. You write about your past, you write about where you are now, like your strengths and weaknesses, and then you write about what you, your future, what you want your future to look like. He actually says that there's lots of studies that show if you understand the answers to those questions, you're a lot happier in life. I'm not a psychologist, but I thought that was pretty profound because I am a religious person, and those are the three things that religion is concerned with. Where are we from? Why are we here and where are we going? Like, confident answers to those questions brings peace. Not only because your pastor or your bishop says so, also because your psychologist or your shrink should say so. So, I really wonder what this technology is gonna do for us. Maybe it's not gonna cause us a problem because it just helps us know where we are quicker and where we're going easier. I love it. 
I don't think I'm gonna stop using it. Some food for thought. Food for thought. Food for thought. It's gonna be a, can we put like a graphic whenever I say food for thought? Is that possible? I'm excited, uh, just got to the warehouse. There we go, it's going out. Exciting day for this bow tie. So here's our warehouse, the uh, My Nice Tie Warehouse. We work with a company called New Track Fulfillment and they got our neckties back here all organized. When an order comes in, they grab a necktie, they grab some tissue paper and the packaging, package it up over here, print a label and ship it out. So this is the company right here, New Track Fulfillment. I like them a lot because it's like you have a face with the name. It's not just Amazon Fulfillment where you can't get a hold of anybody and they never respond to your concerns and they can't do anything different for you than for other people. This is a great company if you're in the market for fulfillment, if you wanna sell some stuff on your YouTube channel or if you just wanna start a new product business. Definitely recommend looking them up. So heading home, actually worked really well. They had the order ready. I was in and out of there quick. Uh, it looks like they got things under control, which is good because we're adding probably about 70 new products hopefully within the next year. So I wanted to give you guys an update on the camera situation. If you remember, I tested the Sony AX100 and I liked the camera, I liked it, but it didn't have some of the features that I need. I ended up testing the camera that I'm using now, the Lumix, sorry, LX10. And you know, it, it works well enough. I actually love it in general as a camera it's so small the lens quality is is beautiful the focus is good enough it's not as good as the sony but you can't really tell the difference and as i've used it more and more i'm getting better and better at knowing what it's going to catch and what it's going to miss the time lapse is great although it's a little bit more difficult than i would like i wish they just had a time lapse but when you have a point and shoot like this one of the big selling points is that you can pull it out and shoot so if you got to dig through a menu to get time lapse not my favorite but way better than the non-existent time lapse feature on the Sony camera and then slow motion works really well actually the downside again is you have to go into the menu and sometimes some of the settings don't, doesn't have slow-mo, so it's the best, I think, on the market. So the Panasonic Lumix L, uh, Lumix, I think that's how you say it. Is that how you say it? Lumix. All right, guys, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned something. Check out my nice tie and buy a tie, change the world. Subscribe to this channel. We're gonna be wising up, suiting up, and speaking up very soon. And with that, this is Ben, signing out. It really is weird talking to a camera, I'll tell you, I'll tell you that. Like when I'm trying to film a segment of the vlog but I'm walking in a library it's just weird now I'm just rambling 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 <laughs>